And I was like, that's not, no, that's not, that can't be right. It's not my sister. But it was. 25-year-old Haley Metters and her boyfriend, 25-year-old Eric King Jr., gunned down Saturday afternoon. It happened in front of a relative's house along North 38th Street. Family members say Eric was working on a car outside. Haley came out to check on him. That's when, according to family, someone approached and fired multiple shots. The parents were rushed to University Hospital. Both died. Haley was an amazing person. She was... Wow. Wow, that's crazy. Her and her son, man, boyfriend. That's crazy. Somebody came up to smoke him. He was working on the car. It could have been somebody rolled past and didn't like the way they looked. He looked at him, circled the block, and came back and shot him. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or, while he was working in the car, he was like in the street and they probably had to go around him and they got an attitude and they shot him. Looks like he's a recent addition because that <laughs> that, that kid has no son in him. Is he on stepdad duty? Nah, Damn. man. You gotta remember though, a lot of these a lot of these sons, man, I mean these kids, they look like gliders. I mean, he that could be his kid. I promise you it could. I don't see no texture in that hair. Dude, he, he was about he was about to nut and dip anyway. Man, come on, shit. Am I wrong? Nah, Fuck no. Nah, I don't mean nothing, man. My cousin, my cousin got a baby with a white boy, and they, and they kids are black. Yo, let me just show you this picture of this basketball player's um kid, man. You, you'd be shocked, man. Um, these um, glider DNA is dominant. <laughs> glider DNA is strong, Jack. That's Mike Conley, <laughs> Utah Jazz man. Whole yeah, son, man. Mike Conley is a whole son, man. That's a nice picture. That's his um. Better uh, take advantage of your easy access to DNA tests on that one. Yep, I was thinking the same thing. I'm telling you, man, that a lot of them are like, look at Nick Cannon's kids. Most of Nick Cannon kids look like little white kids. Yeah, they do. They do. They look like white kids. It just, it's just, a lot of DNA is strong, man. Not a dominant race, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put your, put your white face on. Got a dominant race, man. <laughs> A lot of DNA be strong as shit, man. Put put that on a t-shirt and sell it on Og Nation News. Yeah, man. So, damn, her little... She was out here... Damn, she was out here fucking with her son, man. Yeah. And I, I feel bad for her. She's a beautiful girl, man. Um, I know a lot of... What, when white guy, what do y'all think when you see a girl like this? Like you go to school with this girl all through life, and then you bump into her one day, and she's with like goddamn Pookie, Jim Quavia, Jamal Quavius the third and shit. What do you think? What do y'all think when y'all see that? Size queens. Good luck. Size queens. <laughs> <laughs> they, just, they just want the BBC, and then they get brainwashed, and that's and then it's a wrap. <laughs> It's a wrap. Really? That's what y'all think? That's what I think, at least. I'm just like, she just wants a fucking hog. And then. (laughs) That's because you're a fucking weirdo. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, maybe we should not hear what you think anymore. Wow. Holy shit. Was. Oh, 25-year-old shit. Haley Metters and her boyfriend, 25-year-old Eric King Jr., gunned down Saturday afternoon. It happened in front of a relative's house along North 38th Street. Family members say Eric was working on a car outside. Haley came out to check on him. That's when, according to family, someone approached and fired multiple shots. 
The parents were rushed to University Hospital. Both died. Haley was an amazing person. She was a good, a good person, a great mother. She was a, I mean, she was a hard worker. She, she family oriented. Her family was everything. We were, we were incredibly close. She was close with ever, all of her family, um, and she, she didn't deserve this. Family members say the couple had been together for six years and had two children, a three-year-old son and a one-year-old daughter. We have a lot of family. Eric has a lot of family, um, and they've all, everyone has just stepped up to take care of them. As Haley's family now cares for the children she leaves behind, her brother struggles with his sister's death without knowing why she was killed or who pulled the trigger. I mean, if you just look at Louisville in a hole, I mean, the homicide rates are out of control right now. They're skyrocketing, and uh, you don't know whether if it was just some crazy person on the street or if it could have been affiliated with anything. It's uh, just need to spread awareness of how bad Louisville's really getting right now. We just okay. He knows. <laughs> what, what was was the, was the son man into some gang activity? What? Was he a thug? Was he out there? Like, what's up? I don't know. You know. He ain't get too much detail. He knows. Yeah. Um, listen, man. One thing about it, though, he did say something like not knowing what happened is very frustrating because usually in glider communities, even with the case today, with the son, with the glider going in shooting up the bank, we all know what the reason was. It's understanding. <laughs> It just it, it be so stupid. Like the reasons be so stupid that it's, it's and then the the guys get away so often. So the reasons dumb. The guy gets away. People who are close to the situation may not know anything about it. Like had she not come out there to check on him working on that car, she may not have known why he got killed. Um. It just like you can look at a sun man, you can cross paths with a sun man, he'll fucking kill your ass. Real shit. <laughs> like, I mean, just Real shit. over some bullshit. So it's like if you if you're like a degree separated from it, like you know him, but you ain't talked to him in a few days, you don't know what the fuck happened. Yeah. out of control right now they're skyrocketing and uh you don't know whether if it was just some crazy person on the street or if it could have been affiliated with anything it's uh just need to spread awareness of how bad louisville's really getting right now we just want justice for her like, and she didn't say he's say he's under the car right and um the car's coming down this way right say he's under this car right and He's like out in the street. The car's coming down this way. The car's coming this way. And this car can't go because he's in the way. And they honk the horn. And he comes from under there. And he says, oh, go ahead. And they're like, what? Like, go ahead. What? Boom, boom. And they just shoot you. Real shit. <laughs> like, yeah, real shit. <laughs> like, I mean, it could have been something simple like that. Sun men are fucking psychopaths, man. Um, especially in um, not where Marcy lives, but where in these other places. Where, you know, hey, off, hey, off. Hey, off. You remember yeah. that story? You remember that story? Didn't Philly, and um, the dude was coming down the street fast or some shit. I think he yeah, was by accident. yeah. And some man would just blood. slay your ass, man, over something. I mean, it, they're just riding around with guns. Like, when the sub man got a gun, it's not for protection. When the sub man got a gun, it's to use that motherfucker, Real man. Shit. Uh, Real shit. It just is what it is. And, you know, I know it's uncomfortable, I guess, because, you know, getting into 2A two, two shit and 2 Second Amendment shit, but it just <laughs> is what it is, man. It just is what it is, man. Like, Damn, make me feel alone out here. Yeah, man. I mean, <laughs> look, man. I mean, it just is what it is, Monsi. Like, it's not even um, like it's 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 it just is that way. You know what I'm saying? It just I, is. 